before you even line up for the face-off, you should let your other players know what you plan on doing. Usually you have a lot of options for where you can win your face-off back. You can win it up behind you, you can win it to the side, you can stop the guy and tie him up, and you have your defenseman come in and pick it up the puck, you can try to tap it forwards. So you should let the players on your team know what you're planning on doing before you do it. Usually you just have to let one of them know, sometimes just a little head nod or a look back like that, and the guy knows that you're planning to win the puck back to him. If you have more of a tricky face-off maneuver that you're going to try, you should let the guy know as you're skating up to the face-off dot. Sometimes you might want to tie the guy up and have the defenseman come in and grab the puck, or maybe you're going to send the puck wide and have your uh, winger skate for it. So that just gives them a little bit, like maybe an extra half a second to know exactly what you're going to do and be ready so you can uh, pull off that perfect face-off win. So when you're taking any face-off, there's one tip that I always like to say. Let's get nice and low, bend your knees, and you really want to get down low to the ice. If you're standing way up here, it's going to be weird to try to win the face-off back. And the closer you are to the ice, the uh, quicker that you can get that reaction and you're going to have a nice stable stance. So if the other uh, centerman is trying to push on you or anything like that, you're going to be nice and sturdy and he won't be able to push you off the puck. So that's the first thing, is get nice and low on the puck. Now I'll show you a few little tips for uh, winning it back to one side or to the other. First I'll show you how to win the face-off on your backhand. If you're winning on your backhand, what I like to do, normally hold your stick like this, Take this bottom hand, turn it over, so both your hands are facing back like that. I said get nice and low. Like I said, nice and low, but you don't want this foot in the way. So move over a little bit like this, so you can win it cleanly back to that corner. So you get nice and low for your top hand. You don't want to have it right at the top, because you can't get as much leverage, you can't get as quick. Choke up on that stick. You can see my uh, top hand is almost halfway down the stick. My bottom hand is right near the bottom. Nice and low, and watch that ref's hands. So when the ref's dropping the puck, you want to watch his hand with your peripheral vision. Right when his hand starts to move, you want to start pushing your stick out and then pull it back. So right when that puck hits the ice, you've got, full, uh, you've got a nice head start to pull it back. So you can watch your ref's hands. If the ref holds the puck really high, watch his elbow. Right when that elbow starts to drop, you start trying to win that face off. Let's get to the next one. Now I say if I want to win the puck back to my forehand, uh, what I want to do is I like to just have the toe of the stick in this little white part of the face-off dot. Same thing, nice and low, and I still choke up on my stick a bit, so instead of having my top hand way up here, but halfway down, bottom hand nice and low, and watch that ref's hand right when it moves. You get in, I pull the puck back, and I like to get nice and low because then, when, uh, then your whole stick can get on the ice. If you're standing up high, you can't really get the whole uh, stick on the ice, so get nice and low, you get the whole blade on, win that face-off back. The next little face-off trick is the spin move. So you can do it on your forehand or your backhand. Basically, same thing. Get nice and low, but have a bit of weight on whichever leg you plan to push off of. So if I'm going to spin back, I'm going sit, to sit up like this, and I've got my shoulders twisted a little bit. And right when I see that ref's hand move, I'm going to spin into the face-off dot. That way, if I miss it with my stick, I'm going to spin in, get it with my skate. And that's also going to push the other centerman stick out of the way. You can do the same thing on your backhand, but I'm going to line up like this. This foot's ready to push off of. Right when I see that ref's hand move, I spin in, get it like that. If I miss the puck, you get it with your foot. This next little trick doesn't even involve going for the puck. It involves going for the other player. There's a few ways you can do it. Just line up like you're going to win the face off, forehand, backhand, whatever, doesn't matter. Choke up on your stick like you normally would. And when that puck starts to drop, you can just go right into the face off dot tie up this man, your defenseman can come in and grab the puck, or your winger come in and grab the puck, and these are the types of times when you want to tell your centermen or your, or your wingers or your defensemen to come in and grab the puck, say, I'm going to tie this guy up, and just go right in, tie him up, and let your other guys come in and grab the puck. Another little trick that you can do, where you don't even go after the puck, is go for the other guy's stick. I like to get a nice, pure, crisp win on the forehand and backhand. But if you're going up against another really good centerman that always has a nice crisp win, all you have to do is interfere with your stick because you know they're going to go for the puck every time. So start up like this. You see where they might win the faceoff, so he's trying to win it to his forehand. And right when the puck starts dropping, interfere with their stick, then win the faceoff. Same thing on the backhand. If he's trying to win it backhand, you just interfere with the stick and win the faceoff back. One more trick that you can do, uh, you can only do this in certain situations. You don't want to do it in your own end, uh, unless you're really good at it. But you, normally in the neutral zone, you can do this little trick, is just push the puck forwards. So when the ref drops it, you just tap the puck forwards like that and go hard. And when you're going for that puck, you can usually pick it up before their defenseman can get to it. And that'll give you a nice little break. You can split the D and get a shot on net. Uh, 
You don't want to really do it in your own end because sometimes if you push it too far, you're just going to give it right to their defenseman for a shot on net. So normally in your own end, you want to win it back. But if you're in the neutral zone, uh, even sometimes when you're in their end, you're going to try to take the shot right off the faceoff. Uh, that's a tricky little move. You can try. So there you go. There's a bunch of tips for winning the faceoff. In summary, you can win it back there to your forehand and backhand. You can put it right back between your legs. You want to choke up on your stick, so you don't want to be holding your stick way up here. You want to get nice and low on your stick, nice and low down here. One little tip also for the centerman, if you get really aggressive uh, in your face-offs, tape up that part of your stick. You can see I got a few slashes on there. Because as a centerman, you're going to get a lot of slashes on your stick trying to win those face-offs, and then your stick might break a lot easier. So I put a little bit of tape there, also gives you a little bit of grip. So there's a few tips for winning it. Your backhand, your forehand, through your legs, interfering with the other player and winning it, and getting in there and winning it with your feet. So those are basically all the face-off tricks that I know. Thanks a lot for watching this video, guys, and you can subscribe to our